Hello and welcome back. Today's topic is the concentric reducer and this is our concentric reducer here. We have a diameter on the bottom of 100mm, we have a height of 80mm and we have a diameter on the top of 60mm. We found this by using triangulation, so let's move that out of the way. This is what obviously the finished product looks like. Let's move that out of the way. This is the template we used to make that with. As you can see we use triangulation. We made half the pattern and then folded it over to make the other half of the pattern which is a good thing about making things out of paper. It's easily done. So let's move this out of the way and get started on learning how to make this template for the concentric reducer. So let's move that out of the way. First of all we need to draw a side elevation. So if we draw a line 100mm Represent 100 mil diameter bottom, and mark in the centre. And we've got a height of 80 mil, so just put a dot in there, 80 mil, and find 30, and draw in a line of 60 mil to represent the 60 mil diameter at the top, and join those lines together. So we have a 100mm diameter bottom, we have 80mm height and 60mm diameter top. Next to that we need to draw a plan view. So we open up our dividers to 100mm to give us our, sorry 50mm to give us our 100mm diameter. We just pop that in just there. We'll just divide that up into quadrants. Open our dividers up to 30mm to give us our 60mm. Let's pop that in the centre. Just scratch that in. We only need to divide up um, one half because we're going to fold it over to make the other half of the pattern. And just join the lines up.
just need to number that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so that we need to do a true lengths chart. So we draw a line of 80mm which represents our height. And a line across the bottom to form a right angle. Now we need to open our dividers up to A1. A1, B2, C3, D4, they're all the same length. It's good to going up that way, so we just put a line in there. We're going to label that A1. And now we need to open up to B1. So B1, C2, 3D, 4E, e, 5F, and 6G. They're all the same length. So we just mark that off. And label that B1. Now we're ready to begin. So if we open our dividers up to A1. So what we've done here is our dividers have opened up to A1, which is this line here. So if you're looking down on this, that line hits the ground and comes across. That's what we got here. That's what it looks like coming down and looking across. So that line is represented here, look. See? And also here. See? So, what now what we need to do is just anywhere on the bottom of the page here, is just put that in. And draw a straight line. dividers up to AB. And what we're going to do is while we're doing this is we're going to go AB, BC, CD and we're going to go 1, 2, 2, 3 as we do the pattern. We only actually need to go one of these distances but as we're learning if we go round and follow the circumferences round you'll probably find that easier until you've mastered what are you doing? So just put a scratch in there like that and open up to B1 from the top of our true lengths chart here. Open up to B1 and just scratch that in and label that B. So the next one is 1, 2. scratch in there and we open up top of our two lengths chart to A1 and we just put a scratch in and label that 2 and then we go BC Scratching, true length chart, B1. And label that C. 
and then we go two three scratching and we go a1 to the lunch chair scratching and label that three then we go CD scratching and open up to B1 and label that D then we go 3, 4 scratching and we open up two lengths chat A1 and scratching and over that four and then we go D E scratching and B1 scratching and label that E then we go 4, 5 scratching and we go two lengths chart A1 for scratching label that five then we go EF scratching and the two lengths chart B1 and we label that F and we go 5-6 go to lamp chart A1 and we label that 6 and then we go F to G scratching and then we go B1 Go six to seven. Put a scratch in, and then we go two lengths chart A one. And label that seven. Now we just need to uh, join all those points together. So coming down from one to B. And back up again.
join all the tops up. And the same with the bottoms. Add some lap, so we're going to come down a centimetre. Of course, you can make this as big as you want, this is just demonstration purposes, as this technique can also make any size concentric reducers you wish. This is just a demonstration, it's not restricted to this size. So that's half our pattern, so what we would do next is we would cut that out, fold it over, draw around it, cut it out again, which will give us this, and when we've made this we place this on a sheet of metal, draw around it, and when we have we end up with this, which is our finished product, our concentric reducer and the rivets are just a convenient space and it's totally up to you where you put those so thank you very much for watching my video please like share and subscribe until next time goodbye <laughs>